In this video, we're going to find out which broker is the best suite for non-US residents and non-US citizens for stock market investing and trading. Hey guys, my name is Ken. I've been investing for quite a bit and really know that finding a broker may seem complicated. But there are actually a few brokers out there that are the best brokers for non-US residents which allow people from many countries to register. If you want to find out who are the best brokers for non-US residents, keep on watching. Before we go, trade the like button and invest in subscription to the channel. You're also welcome to support the channel, links are down in the description. Whether you are a foreigner living in the United States or a citizen of another country in the world, the US stock market is the go-to destination for all investing opportunities. Two of the most lucrative stock markets in the US include the NICE and NASDAQ. Both markets offer US traders and investors a chance of buying and selling stock for publicly traded companies. Amongst many of the companies listed on the US stock exchange, there are many you have probably heard of already. For example, Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, Google, Coca-Cola, and many more. To invest in such companies, you'll need to open an account with a broker. A broker is one which facilitates buying and selling of securities or assets and nowadays everything can be done online. The transactions are mostly done through the broker-owned trading platforms. As a non-US citizen who is interested in the US stock exchange, finding the right stock broker can be super frustrating. There are firms that will allow online applications while others will require paper filings. Also, there are brokers who will demand for proof of address and the WA ban form among other requirements. Before considering an online broker, you should consider the following factors. Let's first start with the products offered. It is important to consider the type of products offered by the broker. Look for a broker that will allow you to trade with all US stocks, ETFs, as well as options or mutual funds if you are planning to use these instruments. Secondly, consider security. This is very important, especially when it comes to your own funds. Check out platform security, what investor protection law you are under, for example, if the broker is the member of FINRA and SIPC. And last comes pricing. You must look out for the broker's minimum balance, their fees you will have to pay per trade, also due fee in case of inactivity. Other additional fees could be withdrawal fees and commissions. By researching pricing related matters, you'll be able to select a brokerage firm that is within your budget. Keeping in mind this criteria above, I have researched several brokers, compared to other lists of best brokers and came up with the following list. Here are five brokers I have outlined. Number five is Charles Schwab International. Account minimum for this broker is 2,500 for non-US residents. In terms of fees, they offer free stock and ETF trading, 65 cents per options contract. Rated as one of the best brokers for ETFs and ETF screeners, the company offers a wide array of tools and services designed to appeal to all investing levels. It offers various platforms including mobile web platforms and native mobile apps along with a desktop platform. Number 4 is TD Ameritrade. Account minimum is $0. In terms of fees, they also offer free stock and ETF trading and per leg options trading commissions in the US. TD Ameritrade remains one of the largest online brokers and it has continued to advance based on its advantage with beginner investors. Once it grabs the customer attention, TD Ameritrade offers customers a choice from their platforms, including its basic website, mobile apps, and Think or Swim, which is designed for derivatives-focused active traders. Education is a key component of TD Ameritrade's offerings. Number three is First Trade. Account minimum is $0 also, fees, $0 commissions for most stocks, options, and ETF trades. Founded in 1985, Queens, New York First Trade offers commission-free trades for stocks, options, and ETFs and doesn't charge on any mutual funds it has to offer. With multiple trading platforms and access to free research, it also provides bi-weekly educational seminars for beginner traders 
It also provides an Android and iOS mobile application with a dashboard and research features like advanced charting, first trade accept clients from 60 countries and does not require a social security number or a tax ID number. Second on the list is TradeStation Global. Account minimum is $1000 on its own platform. In terms of fees, they have low trading fees especially for stocks and ETFs. TradeStation Global is a brand of TradeStation International Limited, which is based in the UK and is required by the Top Tire Financial Conduct Authority. TradeStation Global is a combined product offered by Interactive Brokers and TradeStation. Some of the most important elements and key helpful features include the fact that the account opening, deposit withdrawal options and available products are the same as at Interactive Brokers. You can use both Interactive Brokers and TradeStation's own desktop platform for your online trading experience. However, TradeStation Global charges its own fees and offers its own customer support and educational tools. Number one on the list is Interactive Brokers. I would like to highlight this broker and tell a little bit more. Investors from 184 countries have an opportunity to open a brokerage account with account minimum of $0. In terms of fees, maximum is 0.005 per share for pro platform or 1% of trade value and $0 for Interactive Brokers Lite. Interactive Brokers easily takes the best overall with its direct access to 135 global exchanges in 31 countries. This allows traders to trade around the clock using more than 60 different order types to manage their position, entry and exit points. Many of the features aimed at international trading are built into Interactive Brokers downloadable traders workstation platform meaning that you'll end up using it as a primary tool even if you don't consider yourself as a trader. This can be a challenge at first because of the plethora of tools and customizations available through TWS. Learning the platform takes some time, but the learning curve is shorter if you are only using basic functions. It is very suitable for intermediate investors and well-experienced traders across the globe the company also offers educational resources services aimed at non-active investors. Here are some pros and cons of Interactive Brokers. Pros include the following. Interactive Brokers is unparalleled in its market reach and asset variety. Number second is that TWS platform was the strongest overall trading platform with powerful tools and a high level of customization. The third pro is that direct access to exchanges worldwide allows for 24-hour trading. The next one that you can find your account in many different base currencies and the conversion at market rates for non-native currency transactions is directly supported through the platform. Number five is Interactive Brokers offers the lowest margin interest of all the brokers we reviewed today. And there are some cons. They include taking full advantage of the international trading tools requires investors to use the TWS which can be daunting for non-traders. And that the Interactive Broker still uses a fee-based pricing structure for traders, I'll buy a modest one. Let me know in the comments where you're from and what broker you like the best. I read all the comments and reply them. Here are more other videos about personal finance and investments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video and hit the notification bell. See you in the next video.